Craig's loading up the truck. He's headed out of town. Another duck season has finally rolled around. Well, he's hunted across this country, made a lot of friends. And the one thing they love most is chasing the duck hunter's dream. Yes, why? Bradley Smoker proudly presents the Flyway Highway. Bradley takes your outdoor cuisine to a whole new level. Also brought to you by the Remington Arms Company, Yamaha ATVs and side-by-side vehicles, EOTech holographic weapon sights, Mojo Outdoors, and waterfowl waiting systems, quality and innovation taken to the extreme. Now let's join Craig on the road. On this week's episode of the Flyway Highway, I'm in Arkansas, the Razorback State. Arkansas's reputation for duck hunting is legendary. Situated in the heart of the Mississippi Flyway, Arkansas offers waterfall hunters the perfect combination of location and habitat, making it an important stop for me on the Flyway Highway. Hey, we're set up and ready to go. Now I'm in Arkansas at Paradise Wings Lodge. I've got Ronnie Stein back here, the owner, and also Jerry Manis is joining us this morning. Ronnie, tell the viewers a little bit about the hunt. Uh, this morning we're hunting a flooded bean field. Uh, it's been producing good limits of birds and it, uh, the wind's changed us to the south, but I think it'll be a good hunt. Hey, that sounds great. Jerry, you ready to do a little hunting on the Flyway Highway? I'm ready to go, Craig. Let's start hunting. All right, well, let's sit down and start hunting, guys. Let's do it. Sounds good. Take him! Oh man! Good shot. Get ready, kill him! Oh yeah, that's the way to do it, boys. That's what I'm talking about. Nice shoot. Dumping them, baby. Man. Dumping them. <laughs> Nice shot, nice shot. Take him. Oh, roll them up. Roll them up. Things are getting off to a good start here. We got some hot action. Looking huh? good. Looking yeah. good. We're hunting into a, the winds in our face. With, that's kind of a disadvantage. But what we did is we put our decoys and mojos way out at the as far out as we could because the birds are actually coming over this wooded tree line and, and we're trying to create as big a space for them to land as possible so shots are a little bit longer but it's working out good it's working out real yeah, good it really is and of course this being late season duck hunting the end of january the last weekend of the jan uh the season here in arkansas you know we're downsizing everything and we're going real easy on the calls we only have about a, a dozen decoys out just a couple of mojos and I think that's important late season. Oh yeah, you got to just downsize. Yeah, they've done seen all them big spreads of decoys. They're yeah. done with that. Just make it, get a couple paired up, make it work. Yeah, yeah it's got to be small. We're getting our ducks. We always do here at Paradise Wings Lodge. On this week's duck truck upgrade segment, I'm going to show you a really neat new product from Warren. Now I know when you think of Warren, you think of winches, and rightly so. Warren winches are legendary, but Warren also makes replacement bumpers. This is Warren's new Ascent bumper. It combines low profile styling with high performance features. This bumper looks incredible and totally transforms the look of your truck. Precision angles and a unique low profile design maximize approach angles and optimize off-road performance. Plus, 
the Warren Ascent bumper comes ready to fit several different Warren winches, like the Xeon series winch we have. When it comes to integrated style and functionality, there's nothing else like the Ascent bumper. Now speaking of winches, our Xeon 12S Platinum winch has 12,000 pounds of pulling power, an extra strong Spidera Pro synthetic rope, and an advanced wireless remote that puts winch, clutch, and accessory control in the palm of your hand. And to top it off, we installed four worn WL Series LED light pods in the bumper's lower cutouts. These light pods look awesome and are extremely bright, perfect for illuminating our decoy spread during setup. Now for more information on these great products from Warren, go to the Flyway Highway and the Warren websites. Hey, we'll be right back with more Flyway Highway after these messages. Looking for the most innovative dove decoys on the market today? Mojo brings you their popular voodoo dove that will sit atop the newly designed dove tree that just hit the market. The dove tree, with its hard ground stirrup for easy ground installation, simulates a dead snag or light wire, which we all know attracts dove. Add to this the Mojo clip-on doves and a couple of live-action kits, and you have a combination that no dove can resist. Strap on a Mojo dove belt and head to the fields. For more info, go to MojoOutdoors.com, and remember, it ain't magic if it ain't Mojo. Bring out the flavor and bring out the fun with a Bradley smoker. You can smoke or slow cook any meat, seafood or cheeses. Endless possibilities. Your food will always come out of the smoke, plump, juicy and bursting with delicious flavor. Your guests won't be able to resist. Bradley smokers, all about the flavor. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Top Duck Products, creators of Superzilla and Gunzilla. In addition to the great duck hunting Paradise Wings Lodge offers, they also have excellent snow goose hunting. Here's a hunt I did with Ronnie during the special snow goose conservation season. It was literally a blast. Cut him, cut him! Kill him! Well, that's the way to do it. Yeah! That's the way to do Put it. Put him down! Kill him! There he goes. There he is. All right, nice shooting, guys. Well, that one didn't make it out of this field, did no, it? No, that one didn't. He circled three or four good times, and he finally got on down like we wanted him. Yeah, now these snows are starting to move, and typically, Ronnie, they, uh, they're not early risers. They take their time no. getting up and flying, huh? No, they're not ducks. They're geese, and they yeah. take their time. It's normally 7.30 or so before anything really starts happening large, you know? Yeah. Explain a little bit more about the conservation season. I know you, know, you can shoot as many as you want. Right. There's no limit. No limit. What else? And you can take your plug out of your gun. Okay. Shoot as many shells as you want. And of course you can use the electronic collars during the conservation season, which you can't use during the normal season. And that's a big help. That is a big help. Yeah, that, that really helps draw them in. And then in terms of our spread, we're hunting over, what, about 900 wind socks and silo socks? About 900 decoys yeah. out here. Yeah. And speaking of which, the silo socks, now this is a very effective product. Uh, it's called a silo sock, and what that means is um, it's half silhouette, half windsock. The silhouette portion is the head, as you see here. The sock portion is obviously the back end. And what, what's nice about the uh, silo sock is it has an integrated support spine down the back of the sock. So on a day when you don't have a lot of wind, the sock will still stay upright and appear to be full of air. And that's, that's very important. If you're hunting a, a windless day and you've got socks that just sag down on the ground, it looks like a dead spread, you're going to have a real hard time killing birds. Not with the silo sock. The sock is always upright and will always appear to have air. And of course, on a day like today where you have a good breeze, the silo sock has excellent motion. Kill 
Kill him. Oh, man. Nice. Cut him, cut him. Nice. Kill him. Nice shot over there, dead eye. There's a single Craig killing. Oh man. <laughs> that one came right in. Got him. Put the EOTech right on him. He didn't stand a chance. No, he's still using the old EOTech, huh? Oh yeah, I sure am. I love it. You know, for those of you that don't know, an EOTech is a holographic weapon sight. Basically how it works is it projects an illuminated ring and dot onto a glass pane, kind of like the heads-up display on a jet fighter. And you know, a lot of guys use these to hunt, you know, animals on the ground, big game animals and whatnot, but you can also use them to shoot birds on the wing, which I do very effectively too. Uh, to aim the EOTech, all you do is put the illuminated ring dot on the bird, pull away for your lead, squeeze the trigger. It's just that simple. It's really improved my shooting. You know, unlike those red dot tube sights, the EOTech is much better because it doesn't restrict your peripheral view. It's military spec, uh, fog proof, waterproof, shock proof. You can adjust the brightness up and down for varying light conditions. A lot of fun to use and uh, pretty effective, huh? I mean, very I got effective. that one, no problem. Not a problem at all. Yeah. Don't touch that remote. The Flyway Highway will be right back after these messages. Hey, this is Craig Foster with Flyway Highway Television. I wear Northern Guide breathable waders from Waterfall Wading Systems. The lightweight, durable outers feature Catastride breathable technology. Unlike neoprene waders, body perspiration and vapor form can escape to the outside. No more wet, clammy feeling in warmer weather or during physical exertion. And in colder weather, layering up and the heavily insulated boot feet will keep you comfortable. Northern Guide breathable waders keep me dry and comfortable in any conditions. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Silo Socks, realistic portable windsock decoys. On this week's product showcase segment, I want to show you a really neat new product from Silo Socks. It's called the Flock Socks. The Flock Socks is a windsock full body decoy hybrid. It has a full body flocked head with a windsock body that has a special velvet material that's realistic, tough, and holds its shape better than Tyvek. The flock socks is frost free and won't shine. That's really important, as you know. The flock socks also has a patented support system that keeps the windsock from sagging when there's no wind. It also folds for easier storage. The movement on this decoy is excellent. Not too much, not too little. The feeder flock socks uses a stake attached to the head and the sentries use a fiberglass stake. Both allow the decoy to move freely in the wind. Silo sock flock socks are a lot less money than full body decoys. They're also easier to store and transport and they have motion. And most importantly, you'll shoot birds over them. Now for more information on Silo sock flock socks, go to the Flyway Highway website or the Silo socks website. Yeah, that's the way to do it. Kill him! Woo, that was fun, boy. All right, here comes Nick with that snow goose he just shot. It was a nice shot, Nick. Oh, thank you. You waxed him. Hold that bird All right. All right, there we go. There's your snow goose. Now, Ronnie, talk a little bit about this bird. Well, this is a, a juvenile. He's got the gray on him. He's not the solid white. So this is a young snow goose. Uh, Probably why he came into the decoy spread. <laughs> yeah, he, it's the reason he come on in like he did. The juveniles know. are easier to hunt than the adults, without question. Yeah, the adults are a whole lot smarter and 
takes a little bit more to get them in, but uh, yeah, this one came right on in, and he was a juvenile. And so is that a first year bird, would you guess? A second year bird? Uh, first year. Yeah. Yeah, this is a first year bird. Uh huh. Lots of gray, gray on the neck, gray on the back. Sure. Yep, it's a first year bird. Now explain the difference, I mean, these are snow geese, but explain the difference between the blue goose and the snow goose. Well, the blue goose is actually the same thing as the snow goose. It's just right. a blue phase. Correct. It's a, that's all it is. It's the same genus species. It's just a blue phase of the snow goose. Right. And hopefully we'll shoot one of those here this morning. Uh, you know, they also call them eagle heads. They're kind of neat. They've got the white head in the dark body. Right. And uh, so, yeah, those, those are neat, neat to shoot. And uh, those make really pretty mounts, too, oh, if you get a beautiful. nice one. Yeah. So hopefully we'll get a few more. Hopefully so. We'll put that one on the pile, uh, get them ready for the Bradley smoker. We're gonna have some smoked goose tonight for dinner. That should be good, huh? Oh, that'll be delicious. Up top, Tilly. <laughs> Woo, it's rain and snow geese on the Arkansas Delta. That's it, looking good. Cut him, cut him. Watch out, watch out. Nice shot. All right. Wow. Hey, I'm here with Wade Bradley at Bradley Smoker, and today we're going to show you how to smoke and cook duck and geese. Wade? Thanks, Craig. We have some fresh geese and duck breasts that we just brined up, and we're going to load them up in our fully automatic hot or cold food smoker. Well, let's do it. Open the door here. Now, this is the four rack model, Wade, correct? It is. We also have a six rack, but. This is our premier and ideal product for out in the field. And very easy to use. It's basically a set it and forget it device. We're loading up these racks. Boy, they look good, Wade. I tell you, I love shooting duck and geese on the Flyway Highway. And man, I really love eating them, especially on this Bradley Smoker. Okay, now what's the next step? Well, we're going to uh, demonstrate how the machine works. And uh, it burns one of these biscuits once every 20 minutes. And then the uh, old biscuit is extinguished in the pot of water. All right, and now the biscuits come in different flavors, correct? They do. Presently, we're using a whiskey oak. It comes from the old barrels that they make uh, whiskey and bourbon out of in North America. Oh, sounds good. Now the control panel, explain how that works. Right here on this side, we're gonna control the temperature of the oven. So we're gonna set it for about 220 degrees. Right there, time. We're gonna wanna smoke for about four hours. And uh, over here is your smoke time. And let's say we're gonna smoke for three hours on this one. A little heavy on the smoke? Right. Okay. Yeah. I like a smoky flavor. And that's it, get the door closed and we're ready to go. So in about four or five hours, it's bon appetit. You bet. Sounds good. There's a place that we go. A place that can't be found on any map or marked on the GPS, but we go. Drawn in by a compulsion to explore and kept out by the necessity of adventure. There's a place that we go. It has no name, no coordinates, but we've all been there before. EOTech Holographic Weapon Sights. Accelerate your advantage. This segment of the Flyway Highway is brought to you by Stump Jumper Surface Drive Boats. That snow goose hunt with Ronnie was a blast. Now let's get back to some duck hunting action. Nice shot. <laughs> Killy. There you go, Ronnie. Nice. All right. He's down. Kill him. That a boy. 
Ronnie, those ducks came in tight, huh? Well, they come in good, but that wind, they just broke right into yeah, that south wind. <laughs> like we said earlier, they're dropping in right over this tree line and coming in, they're keying on our Mojo. Now, we're hunting over several products from Mojo Outdoors. We've got their spinning wing decoy, and then we've got a Mama Jamma. It's a new product. We also have a swimmer, a swimming duck from Mojo, and uh, they're working great as usual. But, you know, I'm changing out my choke tubes because these birds are working in so tight. And this is kind of neat. This is another new product from Mojo. It's their Fatal Shot choke tubes. And uh, I really like these. They make them in three different sizes, short range, mid range, and long range. And they're very easy to use. They're easy to screw in. You don't need a tool to use. They just screw in by hand. Uh, now I'm switching from the mid range to the short range because these birds are working so tight. You know, I put these on paper and compared them to the, to the uh, factory tubes. And the patterns are, they're more consistent. They're evenly spread out around the circle, you know, and the, uh, dense, tight, consistent patterns. And that's real important. It is. You know, you don't want gaps in your pattern. You can, you know, the ducks can fly through the gaps. So exactly. it's a great new product from Mojo. It's working great for me. They're easy to install and uh, very effective. Fatal Shot, Choke Tubes by Mojo. <laughs> Get him, get him. That's the way to do it. Take him, guys, take him. Nice shot, that's yeah. the way, all right. Kill him, shoot that duck, shoot that duck. Oh, run. There he goes. There he nice goes. shot. All right. <laughs> Boy, I had to walk back in those woods to get this bird that sailed on us a little. And I'll tell you, that was a workout walking through that soft mud. It's also warm out today. But you know, I'm wearing these waders from Waterfall Wading Systems. It's their Northern Guide boot foot breathable wader. And they're lightweight breathable waders. And I really prefer them over neoprenes. You know, with neoprenes, when you're walking around and working up a sweat, as you know, you can get that wet, clammy feeling, but not with these waders. They have a vapor permeable membrane on the inside of the outshell fabric. And what that means is when you do sweat, your perspiration and vapor form can pass through to the outside. You stay a lot more comfortable. Like I said, they're lightweight, extremely comfortable, and in colder weather, you can stay just as warm as neoprenes. You just layer up underneath. And they also have a highly insulated, Finsulate insulated boot so you'll stay warm in the cold. Northern Guide Boot Foot Breathable Waders by Waterfall Wading Systems. They're the duck hunter's choice. Hold those ducks up, guys. Hey, the Flyway Highway wants to give a special thanks to Ronnie Steinbeck of Paradise Wings Lodge. Now, I had a great time hunting with him here in Arkansas. Ronnie, thanks again. You're welcome, Craig. Come on back next year. Hey, I'd love to. Now, if you're looking for some of the finest waterfall hunting that Arkansas has to offer, you need to look up Ronnie at Paradise Wings Lodge. Go on his website or give him a call. He'll put you on the birds. And hey, we'll see you again next week for another episode of the Flyway Highway. Be sure to tune in next week when Craig heads further down the Flyway Highway. Well, hey, our smoked ducks and geese are done. Now we're just kicking back and relaxing after a great day of hunting. Good times and good friends. You can't beat that, can you guys? Yeah, Absolutely right. Not. It doesn't get any better than this. Well, hey, let's dig in. Highway. Get him, get him!